Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gino, where I like to show you how easy it is to cook on the keto diet. So tonight, I'm gonna cook you some Cajun Alfredo shrimp zoodles. So if you have that craving for pasta, the best thing to do is to cook some zoodles made out of zucchini. So that's what I'm gonna show you tonight. So the first thing we're gonna do is, is we're gonna start off with our homemade Alfredo sauce, which is keto friendly. The first thing I'm gonna do is add about a tablespoon of Kerrygold butter and I'm gonna let that melt down. So this Alfredo sauce is uh, pretty easy to make. We're gonna let that butter melt down. Yeah. And so while that, that butter is melting, I'm going to chop up some garlic for you that we're going to put inside this Alfredo sauce. When you make your own Alfredo sauce, you can control what's go what goes in it. And in that keto lifestyle, that will help you stay on track. We're going to cut up some garlic in very small pieces. And we're going to add that to our Kerrygold butter that we've melted in the pan here. So we'll add our garlic, and again, we want to be careful so that the garlic doesn't burn. So that was about three cloves of garlic. The next thing we're gonna add is, uh, we're gonna add some, about a cup of heavy whipping cream. After this, this garlic cooks down a little bit. Wow, I wish you could smell this. All right, we're gonna add that cup of heavy whipping cream. We'll turn up the heat just a little bit. The next thing we're going to add will be about a half a cup of cream cheese. And this is gonna give it a nice velvety consistency. So we'll stir this up a little bit. Let that melt. The other thing we're gonna to add to it is a half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. And then we'll stir all of this really well. We'll let that cream cheese melt and all of this blend together really well. Now, as far as seasonings for this Alfredo sauce, I want to use about a quarter, a teaspoon of Italian dressing. I meant Italian seasoning. <laughs> Italian seasoning. Uh, about a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg. Give it a little bit of sweetness. And about a quarter a teaspoon of ground pepper. So we'll let this all get nice and creamy. Now this is gonna thicken up as it warms up uh, during this process here. Now while this Alfredo is thickening up, and again, we don't want it to burn here. We're going to continue to whisk it until it gets thicker. As this Alfredo is getting thicker, we're going to go ahead and start to cook our shrimp. Now, I like shrimp with some Cajun seasoning, and I'm also going to do that over 
Zoodle. So I'm gonna move over to my next pan here. So you can see how we're gonna cook this shrimp. I have about a tablespoon of, again, Kerrygold butter. Turn up the heat a little bit. We're gonna let that melt. There we go. Once it comes up to temperature, then we will add our shrimp. We'll continue to stir this yummy Alfredo sauce. And you notice it is getting thicker as everything blends together. All right, so you can see our butter is melting. We're gonna add our shrimp. So this is um, just about three quarters of a cup of shrimp that's already been been deveined and cleaned. So we'll put that in there like that. And then we'll let this cook up. Okay. I'm going to add some Cajun seasoning to go with it, just a little bit to give it that kick of flavor. And then we'll let that cook up. Now a shrimp, it doesn't take too long for it to cook. You wanna make sure that you don't overcook the shrimp because it'll start to get very rubbery, right? So we wanna keep an eye on that and not overcook that shrimp. We'll stir the shrimp around. We want it to get nice and pink. We're gonna add that on top of our zoodles. To be honest with you, even though I am 100% Italian, I don't miss pasta that often. You get used to eating zoodles, and I'm gonna show you how to make those here. And we're gonna put this wonderful shrimp over it with this Alfredo sauce that we've made. So we'll toss that shrimp, let that cook. Doesn't take long with shrimp. Now with this is, um, while it's cooking, Let's talk a little bit about some basics to the keto diet. So remember, no sugar, no sugar substitutes except for stevia or a plant-based sweetener. Or you can also use allulose. So no sugar. And so in the lack of sugar, your body will burn fuel from the fat that you're eating. The other thing is, is you want your total net carbs to be less than 20 carbs per day. Now, what are net carbs? Net carbs are the total amount of carbs minus uh, any fiber or any sugar alcohols. So again, net carbs, you want to stay under 20 net carbs for the day. And net carbs are um, total net carbs minus fiber minus any sugar alcohols that you might have as well. So as we cook, we want to be able to have a really good macros. Now when we talk about the term macros, macros is we want to have about 70% of our calories come from healthy fats. So that 70% of calories come from healthy fats. The other thing is, is we want 20% of our calories to come from proteins and about 10% to come from from actual carbs. And we want to be wise with our carbs and use them well. All right, so our shrimp is done. So I'm going to take that shrimp off, put it in my dish here and come back to it. I'm gonna turn the heat down 
and we're going to add, we're going to make our zoodles next. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is, is I have my zucchini here cut up and I uh, have this, this zoodle maker and all it does is grate the zucchini. So we'll put this in here, turn this around. You can see how easy this is. All I'm doing is twisting and twisting, see? And it's just coming out the other side. Do a little bit more for you. I like making my own zoodles, zucchini noodles. Again, because it's cheaper and I can control what all is going into it. There we go. Good, so this little handy tool here is what I use to grate those zucchini noodles. And I do it every time that I'm going to cook with them. All right, so we're gonna stir this up. Again, it doesn't take long to, to cook with these zucchini noodles because we don't want them to get too mushy, right? So I'm going to add a little bit of that butter with some Cajun seasoning on here. Drizzle that over the top. And let this cook down a little bit. So remember you want layers upon layers of flavor. So I'm going to add a little bit more Cajun seasoning here to my zucchini noodles and stir and stir. So as this goes to cook down, it's not going to take that long. Yeah. Good, it's looking good, smelling good. All right, our zoodles are almost done, so we're gonna add in our shrimp. So this is the shrimp that we cooked earlier. Again, we'll let all of those flavors marry together. Looking good, smelling good, right? All right, let me toss this around a little bit. Yep, good. Just a tad bit more Cajun seasoning. Our Alfredo sauce is almost done. You can see that here. Look how good that Alfredo sauce is. Nice and thick. Okay. We're going to add that on top here. Okay. Looks like our noodles are just about done. We're going to start plating this up and then we'll add our Alfredo sauce. So zucchini noodles are real easy to make and they're a great substitute for pasta and they are very low carb.
We're going to get all those wonderful juices on there. And then we'll get ready to put our Alfredo sauce over it. All right, so here's my favorite part, and we're going to start to pour the Alfredo sauce over. Doesn't that look really good? So again, the Alfredo sauce is made up of Kerrygold butter, three cloves of garlic, a cup of heavy whipping cream, I have a half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese, a half a cup of cream cheese, and I added about a quarter teaspoon of Italian seasoning, ground nutmeg, and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Okay, now we're going to move over and start to enjoy this wonderful meal. So here's the final outcome of my Cajun shrimp zoodles, keto style of course. And I'm going to accompany that with the salad. Okay, so I'm going to add a little cheese to finish this off. Because you can't have too much cheese, right? And a little bit of parsley for color. So again, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my keto cooking channel. Again, my name is Gino, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, and have a good night. And this is so good. Everybody have a good night.